Hey guys, Garrett with Tactical Repair here. I know it's been a little while since I've done a video, so uh, today I'm going to do something pretty useful for you. And I'm going to go over all the grease fitting locations, um, just so you don't miss any. I know there's a lot of fittings on these trucks, and uh, it is easy to miss one or two or five or ten uh, if you don't know where they're all at. So we're going to start from the front of the truck. We're going to go top to bottom and make our way back. So <clears throat> the first thing we're going to start with, and bear in mind, not all trucks have these, but a few of them do. So it's a good idea to check for it. Under hood here, you want to follow your tack cable down. And I should have brought my light up here. Hold on a second. Anyway. There we go. You tack drive down there. If you have a grease fitting on it, and I know it's hard to see, but it's right there. If you have a grease fitting on it, it'll be on the left hand side. Uh, most of them don't. This one doesn't. It's uh, Most of them are just capped. Uh, so apparently it wasn't really needed or they'd have kept the grease fitting on all of them. Uh, but if yours has one, go ahead and put some grease in it. A couple shots is all it should take. Um, from there, you move down underneath. And your front spring hangers will have one grease fitting on each of the front ones, both sides. Then your steering linkage, you'll have one fitting here. You'll have another fitting here on the bottom. Once again, I know it's hard to see because of the lighting. Then you'll have your upper kingpin grease fitting. You'll have one in the same spot on the bottom between all four bolts. And then uh, if you have a winch equipped, you'll have a grease fitting on my drive shaft's not in here right now. I don't have my PTO on the new transmission, but uh, you'll have a grease fitting on the front U joint, one on the slip joint and one on the rear U joint. So now we're gonna go back and at the back of both front springs you'll have one grease fitting here and one grease fitting here and there are bushings in there that need to be lubed so uh, if you don't grease it every oil change grease it every other oil change would be my suggestion so oh, i love all the sand on the floor now underneath you're gonna have a grease fitting on the tie rod end here and here I'll give you a better view of your lower kingpin right there and you're gonna slide over to the other side you've got the same you've got a lower kingpin grease fitting a right hand tie rod grease fitting and the one on the upper and then you've got your grease fittings on the back of the spring pack here both pivot points on the shackle and then you've got one grease fitting on the front drive shaft in the front. You've got one on the slip joint and one on the U joint. Uh, on every drive shaft, there's going to be three grease fittings one on each U joint and one on the slip joint. And then from there, you're going to want to slide over here. Look straight up. You see that little red cap? There's a grease fitting there. That's for the, um, the throw up bearing pivot shaft. And you've got one on the other side as well. And you remove this six bolt cover and look straight up in there. And there's a grease fitting on the throw out bearing sliding assembly to keep it lubed so it doesn't get stuck on the shaft, make it hard to push the clutch. And then you've got on your pedal pivot assembly, you've got one two, three grease fittings there. And you'll want to pump just enough grease in there to get it to squish some new grease out between the pedals and the mounts. And then on your jack shaft, which is between the transmission and transfer case, you're going to have three grease fittings, one on each U-joint, one on the slip joint. And to make it easier to get to, you can put the transfer case in neutral and the transmission in neutral and you can spin the shaft by hand. Uh, make sure your park brake's set so you don't get crushed by your truck. Then, 
look at your speedometer uh, adapter here and if I can get the lighting just right you've got a grease fitting on the back of it uh, just one or two pumps of grease in there every time you lube the truck is all you need you don't want to over grease it but if you do uh, grease will start spitting out of the back end of that there is a relief valve uh, so if you do put too much grease no big deal then we'll make our way back the back side of the transfer case you've got two grease fittings on the outer park brake shoe pivot you've got one grease fitting up there on top where the second pivot is and you've got one grease fitting right there on the back side of the inner shoe uh, I think that's it for the park brake assembly then your rear drive shaft, you've got, of course, one on the U-joint, one on the slip joint, and one on the back U-joint. And then from there, you'll go back under the intermediate axle. Same thing here, you're going to have one grease fitting on this U-joint, one grease fitting on the slip joint, and then you look back, there will be a grease fitting on the very last u-joint <clears throat> now my truck doesn't have them and a lot of trucks that are older don't um, but see this is your uh, center suspension trunnion this is what the whole rear suspension rides on on the bottom of each cap here between these four bolts there should be a grease fitting right there in the center um, now the older ones, like I said, mine it doesn't have it. Um, I, I need to actually go through and rebuild the trunnions and uh, put grease fittings in it. Uh, but you don't want to miss that because those bearings and all get eat up. You're going to have a hell of a time fixing it. So there should be one grease fitting on each side. And uh, if yours doesn't have it, well, either go through the trunnion and rebuild it. You know, repack your repack your stuff and whatever you got to do to make sure the uh, bearings and races are in good shape in there the old ones without grease fittings will have bearings and races sand in my mouth wonderful um, the newer ones will have brass bushings and races uh, and this is obviously the last axle after that the only grease fitting you have will be back on the bottom side of your uh, Panel assembly there and you'll just want to pump some grease into it and give it a few turns back and forth and make sure it's free uh, but other, other than that unless you've got uh, a different model truck uh, with PTO this and that and the other like maybe an M108 crane truck or something or a dump truck that's all the grease fittings you're going to have on the standard M35A2 cargo. Um, M35A3s will have a different uh, amount of grease fittings. Most of them will be in the same places, but you're going to have a few less. Um, and that's pretty much all there is to, to say about that. I mean, there's, there's no grease fittings in the cab, uh, but it is a good idea to uh, shoot some cable oil on your park brake cable every once in a while just to keep it free. And the same with your door hinges and latch assemblies. Just some lubricating oil of, of your choice and you'll be good to go. Anyway, so uh hope that's helpful to you guys. And I'll be back again soon. We'll see you on the next video.